My name is Bowie. I'm an animator, artist, and an author. And I am best known for my art on Star Foam Cups. I grew up in Malaysia. I moved to the States in 1997. I started drawing on Star Foam Cups when I was out at a cafe and I didn't have anything. I was people watching. The only white surface I got was a Star Foam Cup. I took that, drew on the first one, and then I thought it's kind of nice. I liked the fact that it was much more challenging than paper. I don't like to say draw on paper today and then draw on a, a cup tomorrow. And so I wanted to amass a collection of it. And so that's what I started drawing on. Um, and then I just kept on with it. First thing I drew on a styrofoam cup was me walking down the streets of San Francisco. I gave that to a friend and I told him that because it, it was his birthday, you know. I said, keep this because it's going to be worth a lot of money one day. The theme I chose to explore is um, basically Japanese woodcut prints. Um, one of my favorite artists is Hokusai. And uh, one of the very first few cups I did with the wave motifs was inspired by him. Inspiration comes from everyday observations, you know, like um, whatever I see, the people I interact with, things they think about, you know, like if they mention something to me, I'll be like, oh, you know, I've kind of done that before too, or um, it would spark an idea and I'll just go off on my own tangent. What makes me happy is having complete freedom in doing what you like to do is, is, is what makes me happy. People have a very hard time coming to grasp with, with um, paying a couple of hundred thousands of dollars for art on styrofoam cups. Think of it this way, if the recipe for Coca-Cola was written on a napkin, I don't think people would have trouble trying to pay a couple hundred dollars for, for that. They're not going to say, oh, it's on a napkin, I don't want it. You know, They would immediately see the idea behind it. And that's what's important. I recently took a, a trip across the country. I think it's important to learn about the lives of other people because that way you're just you're not basing everything off yourself, you know. Like when I was working and I was I was making good money, I, all I was concerned about was just what to buy tomorrow. I, I did not really think about the the problems that the rest of the people around me may have or I, I became very selfish I think. When I draw, I start off with a rough idea of what I want to draw. And then I will start off with drawing a face because the face is usually the hardest thing to get down. Once I draw that, I spend a good amount of time just looking around the cup and thinking of how I'm going to compose the shot. The process is a lot different from how I learned to draw in school because in school you, you draw the big shapes and then you fill in the details later on. But in this case, when you don't have the opportunity to sketch, so you kind of have to work everything out in your mind before you place it down and that's that's really the hardest part of drawing. I spend a lot of time because I fear messing up more so than I am planning. Fear doesn't really help me but it makes things very very interesting I think. If it's always a success for every stroke then it's it doesn't seem as as fun. I feel great about the final product of what I drew and things like that but uh, when I was drawing it and when I started I was you know, when you have just floating pieces of like the face and then the arms, and you, you really don't know where you're going with it. As you draw and, and, and time progresses, um, when, it's, when things start coming together, you start realizing that it's, it's going to be pretty amazing when I'm done. My advice to other artists is to look beyond the canvas, you know, think of all the possibilities out there. Um, the canvas doesn't have to be flat, you know, it could be anything. Um, it really is the idea behind behind your concepts and things like that. To everyone else, I, I tell them the same thing I, I've told everyone, that the, the difference between a dream and reality is just doing it, you know? So if you want to get something done, just, just do it. So Pancake, subscribe!